Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 80. This week, I'm going to be talking about carrying cases for the air gap flash. Now that the air gap flash is actually available for purchase, some people have been asking me, you know, what kind of carrying case do I use? And up until now, I haven't been uh, using one. I've been done most of my uh, photography with it in the basement, but, uh, you know, some high speed events are at different locations. I've been thinking about going to a gun range and, and photographing there uh, with this flash. So um, for those cases it would be nice to have a carrying case. So I, I looked into it a little bit and uh, basically what I decided was that uh, Pelican, I've used their uh, cases for a few projects at uh, my day job. and They make really great cases. They're not cheap but uh, they're really high quality cases, they're waterproof, um, they work great as luggage. If you have to take it on an airplane or if you want to mail it, these will work great to protect it on um, mailing trips. So um, I looked at the sizes. There, you could look at the Pelican website, they have tons of different sizes. I, I looked through them and sort of picked one that was reasonably priced and about the right size. What I went with was the 1550 case from Pelican. And that's what we've got here, and uh, now we're going to see how well these air gap flashes actually fit into it. And uh, in my case, I want to have two air gap flashes in here, which should fit. Uh, but uh, if you only have one air gap flash, uh, you know, you could uh, potentially put an air gap flash and then, you know, the camera axe and some other uh, tools that you're going to use with it. So this is the Pelican case. Uh, you'll see that it has a few clasps here that you can put um, padlocks through uh, if you want to lock it closed. There's also an accessory you can get to have a locking mechanism inserted here. Uh, but I don't really need any of that, so I'm just going to rely on these clasps that come with it. And when you open it up, it's full of padding. And it's actually a, an ingenious system. Uh, this, I don't know if we can see how this looks, but basically uh, it's all these little cubes, probably like half inch cubes, and basically it makes it really easy to take out the cubes that you need so that you can put your, you know, have these punched out areas and put your devices in there. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure there's enough clearance. So I'll just take out these start with, put the air gap flashes that I want to have in here. Um, I'll also be punching out a little area for these cables, but for now I just want to make sure it closes. And yeah, as I sort of expected, it's a pretty tight fit, so um, it'll definitely work. You just need to put a little pressure on it. Um, it's not ideal. Uh, if you were going to ship this through the mail, you probably wouldn't want to have um, that much pressure. Maybe, though. I, I don't know. It's not bad. Um, if I were to take out this foam insert... Whoops. <laughs> there goes the scope. That looks fine. Um, so now it closes fine. And there's probably, you know, probably an inch of clearance. And this is just, you know like two inches worth of foam. Uh, so potentially I could, you know, either cut this down so it's narrower or um, get a different foam insert for the top. But, you know, actually for my, my use cases, I think it's going to work perfect because I don't want them rattling around in there or anything. And it's definitely not too snug. So let's see. Yeah. That works good. So I think I'm just going to leave that foam insert just as it is. And uh, now I'm just going to have to uh, punch out the area in this foam to sort of mold around the devices that I'm uh, putting in here. And you can see that I have two air gap flashes that I want to store in mine because I, I typically want to have a backup or I want to have more even lighting when I'm doing things. So. That's what I've got. If you've only got one air gap flash, you could, uh, you know, take it out and put maybe a camera axe um, or some sensors and other cables and stuff. You just, that's the nice thing about these Pelican cases with this foam. You can kind of customize them um, however you want. So here it is with all of the 
inserts popped out. Um, yeah, this was super easy. These just sort of pop out. You can sort of see they're pretty perforated. You just sort of snap apart like that. So it was easy to take it out. I kind of took out a smaller area and then slowly expanded it until it was the right size for the air gap flashes. And now they just set right in there. I've got my bundle of cables for these. Made a little notch for those. And this is exactly what I wanted. So at this point, we're good to go. Thanks for watching.